the Miami Dolphins are in a good position with their roster. While they have 23 impending free agents, they also have nearly $70 million in cap space. Around the NFL, teams are beginning the process of paring down their roster and making contract restructures to get closer to the NFL's 2022 cap on March 16. There is plenty of time but for some teams, an early start will surely help. So far, the Dolphins haven't made any decisions on their free agents to be and they haven't restructured any contracts or terminated any players on their roster. On Saturday the team hosted their annual Dolphins Cancer Challenge, another successful event that raised money for cancer research. With the weekend coming to a close, one would have to assume that the team would get down to business soon. In New Orleans, the Saints have reportedly restructured the contract of receiver Michael Thomas and Green Bay has reportedly worked out a new deal for David Bakhtari. Miami has the privilege of sitting tight because only a few of their free agents, Mike Jasicki, Emmanuel Ogba, and Mac Hollins are likely needing early attention. Looking around the NFL, Miami's surplus of cap space is elite. According to Over the Cap, the Dolphins have the most money to spend and they can create more as we looked at earlier this month. Miami will carry $1.6 million in dead cap money, for now. They have $60 million of space that isn't including several other available funds. The Jaguars are number two with just under $4 million less and the Chargers are close behind the Jaguars. The drop then lands on $49 million for the AFC champion Bengals who are in great shape. The Dolphins' rival Jets are $48, the Patriots are at $8 million, and the Bills are negative $6.5 million. In this era of NFL football, cap space is important but easily manipulated. Teams that are in the red no longer need to release big contracts just to get under the cap and can always find ways to spend on free agents. We saw this in Tampa Bay prior to last season. Free agency will begin on March 16 with legal tampering allowed to begin three days earlier. The Miami Dolphins are two weeks away from the start of the 2022 NFL season and there is a lot of buzz surrounding Mike McDaniel. Who will he take from the 49ers? The 49ers came up one game short of going to the Super Bowl and then lost one of their brightest coaches when McDaniel took the Miami head coaching job. Now with free agency on the horizon, we have to wonder if McDaniel will try and land some of his previous players. We already are expecting McDaniel and Greer to dip into the 49ers' free agency pool. Guard Lakin Tomlinson is a popular mock to Miami once the market opens. Outside of Tomlinson, the offensive options are not that inspiring. The 49ers are going to need to restructure a couple of contracts to make room to add players. As of right now, they have a negative cap number. It's only around $8 million and that is easily worked into the 2022 season. Still, if the 49ers want to make some trades the Dolphins are not likely to have much interest, at least not that will provide more than depth. Jimmy Garoppolo will count the most against the 49ers salary cap. Miami isn't in the market for a quarterback so Jimmy Garoppolo isn't coming this far south. Trading him or releasing him, however, will immediately free up $25 million in camp space which will allow the 49ers to operate. If we look at the offensive side of the 49ers, there are not many options for the Dolphins considering their needs. Tomlinson can be had in free agency and the rest of the line is good but not likely players Miami gives up capital for. Wide receivers could help but the Dolphins have the money to make big splashes in the market and trading for a wide receiver isn't a big priority. It's not like Debo Samuel would be available. I can't be certain about the 49ers' defensive players but given the Dolphins' current roster, it is unlikely that Miami makes a move for a defensive player when they can add in free agency or the draft for free. Miami top needs offensively or running back, offensive line, and wide receiver and tight end could also be a need. The 49ers are not going to have much to offer in those areas because Miami needs starters. If you are waiting to see how McDaniel might attempt to trade for, chances are, he won't.